Greetings and welcome. I am Mingol, and welcome to this short two-part how-to series. We are building a deck with USA, and if you have not watched the first episode or the first part, please do so. Top right-hand corner is the link card to this episode, alternatively down in the video description area. We are giving away keys for the new players to this game. So if you're a new player, be sure to check out the first part episode of this short series and how to get your hands on a gift key that will give you some resource towards crafting cards and decks in this game. That's a little something from myself and the cards developments just to say welcome and thank you. Secondly, playcards.com, the link as well down in the video description for this said deck. Thirdly, strap in and hold on, we are going to test drive this deck right off to this short intro. So in this video, we will be playtesting this deck we crafted in the first part of the short series. Secondly, I will discuss ideal cards for your opening hand. And then lastly, we'll have a look at the turn order, when to play what cards, and basically I will showcase how the intent is with this deck. And then lastly, I've had some comments on my first episode part of this short series. Basically, this is not set in stone. This is just a guideline for you guys. Um, the one um, person that watched the first episode gave a comment that he's going to rather use the Churchill tanks by all means go for it I mean there's that's the beauty of playing with USA and the ally nation Great Britain they've got guards and they've got a lot of uh, units with high defensive values and guard keywords and smaller attack values so go nuts I mean I'm just setting down the guideline and you guys please use your imagination swap and change some of these cards I even mentioned that the coastal gun is my preference type of card to play with but by all means it's not ideal for everyone so take that card out of this deck and put in something that you find uh, would be uh, better suited to your personal playstyle and obviously your collection as well will dictate a great deal to what cards you will play when enough said let's jump in in game and let's play the match all right jumping in game we can see that my missions my daily missions are 100% aligned towards playing with this deck 20 orders Britain's an ally, play guard units, so that's great. Let's jump in and let's showcase this deck. Naya. 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 Okay, so we want Greyhounds. Naval support early game opening hand is not ideal. Ah, Coldstream, I guess. Let's hold on to one of them, so at least we've got a guard. If I go potentially against a aggro opponent, we've got a guard. And the nice thing is he'll put a naval support into my hand. So as I like to say, a double whammy extra value card. That's more mid-game. So yeah, Greyhounds for me is ideal opening hand. The we can do it is not ideal. Death from above not ideal. So not a very great opening hand, not the what I was hoping to showcase. So once again, grounds for myself is ideal opening hand because you get to play it and turn two you get to push it to the front line because you want to control the front line. If you've got the front line, you can play more units and you can control the board state better. So we've got the Greyhound, but I mean it's going to be a bit of a waste to play it now. So let's play a Howitzer. He's going to shoot it, I'm going to shoot him. Except if he's got a Parade. So the intent of this deck was for new players to this game is to try and build a deck that's not too expensive and that can accommodate your limited starting resource and the meta and 
the opponent's collection and the bracket you're situating, the people you play against all change. So it's difficult, you know, to state that you'll be going up against these guys and this and that. So I'm trying to keep all of that into mind building this deck, but once again, this deck is not set in stone. By all means, this is just a guideline to help you out. Build around it. Just swap and change some of the cards as your collection grows and make it better. I mean, this deck is just the blueprint, just something to start off with. Um, there from above, it feels so premature to play it against that unit. But let's do that. And the reason why I just stated that was um, I'm, I'm, I've been playing for a year in early access this game and now when it's released so I don't know more or less I'm guessing your opponents will not be having as much elites unfortunately for me they do <laughs> they do have elites in my play bracket let's make it stronger and um, if, 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 as you mature as a player, you'll notice that the opponents have more options available in their card pool. So they'll have cards that can remove some of your cheaper units easier. So this is just a guideline deck. Please, people, this deck is not one deck to rule them all. <laughs> That's the intent with this how-to short series. Okay, so grounds. We want them in the front line. Distribute three damage between all enemies. As that is my card draw. The, the one thing that I would critique about this deck is maybe if you build it for yourself, try and put in, what's that um, USA unit, the 7th Infantry Regiment, I believe it's called. I'm not too sure. If you use, move it to the front line, it gets to draw a card. Maybe, maybe put more cards into this deck that gets to, lets you draw. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking draw to draw more would be would be important. So that that's something I would do. Um, I wish I had some priests. They would be very they would be very handy now, right about now. Let's add another greyhound. I'm guessing he's got a bloody sickle. I mean, if you're playing with Russia, that is like a staple card. It's a standard card, so it's easy to craft and it give you get to draw a card so it's a very very well a very good card I feel no he doesn't and this just ties right back into my conversation I had earlier my opponent's got a lot of elites and I'm playing you with like the limited cards so for me to showcase this deck it's quite difficult um cause yes but it seems he's having a bit of a, a hard time mm. Five. He's only on five now. Let's get rid of the 83rd Naval Brigade. And then we can get rid of the 3rd Guards Regiment. So I'm I'm going for to control the board state. Let's push another ground to the front. Oh, mistakes. No, I can't play the howitzer. That's alright. Unfortunately, um, I didn't. I can't buff his HP. I would like to buff his HP. Wow! I didn't see that coming. Yeah, I don't have any countermeasures. Um, let's play this card now. I think, I think this is a good time. He's got he's got ambush. If you from magic first strike, he gets to deal his damage before he takes damage. So that's a bit of a pain. He's got an aeroplane. We need to get rid of that. We can push this guy to the front. And this time round, I'm going to add another T19. I'm not going to make that same mistake again. 
So we can do it, the card that gives all the units on the board plus three. The fence would be a nice card to have now, and then you can buff them with the naval support. That is the intent, that's what I would like to showcase. Unfortunately, that's the beauty of playing card games, it doesn't always quite turn out the way you want it to. Yeah, another staple for Russia. First Marines, we can push this one to the front. Keep the pressure. Keep him in keep him in the back. Just keep him there in the back. He's gonna focus the Greyhound. So the question is do we want him? Yes, let's do that. Let's push him to the front. Then we can take that unit. Take that unit. Alright. Once again, priest would be nice right about now. And uh, we can do it. And I'm gonna say it again. If you build this deck, maybe try and change some of the cards to incorporate more draw mechanic. Drawing is very important in card games. The To be able to draw cards is extremely important. And that's my critique to this game, of well, this deck, is I feel I don't have enough draw. So we've got Gunship Mission, which I'm going to use against the... Uh, he's going to draw a card. This, this is not an ideal showcase, because my opponent's got so many elites. I'm way out of my depths with this game, this showcase. Um, this unit can't attack. So I'm not going to give him the card draw. Let's add another one then. This is a mid to late game. Alright. He's also running out of steam drawing cards. Another plane. Oh. Huh. I'm not going to say anything. It's just, yeah. Once again, you can see. To get rid of that. Need to rid get rid of that. Need to get rid of. Oh, shucks. It's okay. Good movements. I should have played this. We'll play this the next turn. I've got options and time. So yes, the let's draw. Let's let's make this a long game. I've got the potential to turtle. I'll, let's wait for the music, I'll make another episode with this deck and then I'll showcase it under my um, Let's Play um, playlist. Thank you for, for watching this content and thank you for the support. Until the next one friends, you keep safe. As always, lakadach and bye bye.